Here's how you can do a velocity edit using Blur. Import your audio and use this button to mark the beats. Add your clips to the timeline. The frames must be close to each other to avoid warps. Fight scenes, for instance, aren't suitable because they have choppy frames. There are two methods to control a scene's velocity in Blur app, the curve speed and the time remapping function. However, there are some specific aspects for each one. To use curve speed, the clips must have high frames per second, so it's not convenient for anime clips as they only have 23.97 FPS. This function not only consumes too much time but also requires a huge effort. So in today's tutorial, time remapping feature is the best option because it's easier and more practical. Now press the time remap icon. Add keyframes to your clip. Make sure to put it below the beat mark. Perfect. Now let's control the velocity. Blur app offers some cool presets, but I will make my own graph. The speed increases when you drag the button up and vice versa. I'm done with the first graph, just follow the same steps for the rest. My scene is ready, but as you can see, it's not smooth enough. Let's make it better. Press the interpolate icon. This feature marks the duplicate frames. You can always remove the red spots, but let's just keep them. Now click the interpolate icon, wait few seconds. Perfect, here's my final result. Voila, export your edits and share it with your friends. That's it for today, let me know if you want more tutorials about this awesome app.